unsettled by the impending destruction of his neighbourhood, and tempted by the wayfaring sea rat to go south for adventure, Ratty the water vole goes home to pack. Thankfully, he meets Mole at the threshold and realises he must stay. He and Mole resolve to protect their neighbourhood and friends. The next day, Ratty goes for a wander. Keeping close to the hedges, he passes Badger's auntie's house, goes up the hill, to the gate at the top. He turns into the fields so beloved of hedgehogs and others using the green corridor past the old mill house, and gazes at the major hedge highway that guides greater and lesser horseshoe bats between their roosts. With its mature trees enjoyed by noctules and the rare barbastel bat, as well as serotine, myotis species, long-eared bats and the more numerous pipistrel. Slow worms are sunning themselves and grass snakes. The pool where he often meets otter is sparkling and the mullet are enjoying a high tide adventure. Ratty goes home content he was right to stay. Two days later, it is so different. And yes, they attack the hedges first. Ratty fears for the wren and other birds who are nesting there. And retreats in terror. He meets Badger, who explains that the diggers had not shown how they would protect retained trees and had not submitted a construction management plan. So the People's Council have issued a temporary stop notice and a temporary tree preservation order for all the hedges. Also, no provision has been made to rehome the residents and the ecology report is out of date but the diggers would not listen. Ratty turns to his favourite field and meets his swallow friends. They are relieved at the tree preservation order, but describe the scene from above. It doesn't look like a trial pit to us, and they are ignoring the stop notice. Six days after the stop notice, the diggers finally fall silent, and parent birds dare to hope. Tweeting fills those precious hedges. But then more work new diggers, destruction of his favourite field, the pool no longer sparkles, a new map appears with trees, hedges and rivers, and loads of notices come and go. 
a court hearing and guilty pleas. But still the digging and massive earth removal goes on. The swallows fly south, so a blackbird describes the October scene of devastation. Five months of illegal digging had created a veritable chasm. Badger's auntie's set is now at ground level and the protected footpath on a knife-edged ridge. People can now fall off it as well as roll down it. If they'd needed a level site, why didn't they buy one? Hedgehogs realise that they will not be able to reach the gardens to make use of any promised access. The bats are worried about being able to navigate the hedges and the effect of light pollution on their privacy and on their insect prey. Friends meet to discuss the loss of the fields and now more bad news. They heard plans to concrete the people's path and for it to be steeper in places. With 202 steps, 71 on this section. More concrete, less greenery and how will our babies climb this? It is a far cry from what we knew. Peaceful people have protested. If only we could too. Our narrator, Ratty the Water Bowl, is sadly now extinct from most of our rivers, but could one day return to the waters of Washerbrook. But all these animals, and over eight species of bat, live and pass through Locks Hill and have done so for centuries. Should they not have a voice?